This is a classical thing taught in medical school. Firstborn male, about a month, six weeks old, starts vomiting. And Ergo is taught this thing called pyloric stenosis. We don't see it as much as we used to, I think, but we do see it time to time. Uh, first of all, what is pyloric stenosis? Well, I don't know where, who we is in your sentence. I last operated on pyloric stenosis 48 hours ago, and uh, it's more common in boys than girls. It's probably more common in the firstborn, although that sounds very biblical to me. It's a condition that occurs second, third, fourth week of life up to about six, eight week of life. In which Do they all need surgery? Well, the outlet of the stomach gets really thick. And they have trouble getting their milk down. The mother gets so upset because they're forcefully vomiting, getting dehydrated. Pediatrician gets quite concerned because the baby's not gaining weight. In the old days, none of them got surgery. Many of them got better, and some died because they didn't get their sodiums and their potassiums and their nutrition. Today, once you make the diagnosis with a very simple sonogram, good pediatric imaging doctor, right. radiology, make the diagnosis, get the sodium corrected, give the baby enough fluid that they're making pee, get them ready for the operation. Good pediatric anesthesiologist who knows how to take a small baby with a blocked stomach, get them to sleep safely. Surgeon can with minimally invasive techniques, little tiny openings or a scar about this big, either one, just open up the muscle. Don't remove anything. Don't sew anything. Just open up the muscle. The outcome should be 100% long-term satisfying. Today, we wouldn't wait to see which one of these babies will snap out of this on their own because it can take a long time. It, it didn't always work. And, the, and in the right hands, the operation ought to be universally successful. Baby ends up with the tiniest scars, and the mother and father have a memory, and it's a, a, a otherwise not functionally, physiologically, a problem for the child. The vomiting with pyloric is somewhat classical. It's projectile. Forceful vomiting, never green. Anytime a baby vomits green material, by the way, that's an emergency, but it's not pyloric stenosis. It's an emergency because it means that things are washing up from the intestine all across the pylorus into the stomach, and we worry that the bowel could be twisted or lost its blood supply. Pyloric stenosis, more often boys than girls, two to eight weeks of life, non-green, not bile, vomiting forcefully, not gaining weight, very suggestive, needs a sonogram.